Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz and again, thanks for the support. I can't tell you guys enough. Meeting so many new people from every country all over the world. Listen, for me, it's been my dream. As enthusiastic as I sound, trust me, I really am inside. Very grateful for having this channel, being able to lift off and get out there. It's not about the competition, guys, although it's rather fun, but it's about getting the information out there. These craters are filled with anomalies. What are they? And why aren't more people talking about them? There are many channels out there, but it's actually surprising the quantity of channels that are doing moon and space research, planets, celestial objects, stars, Nibiru, you name it, UFOs, including John Lear, of course, the father of them all, who started this all, who got many people looking up on the surface of the moon to see for themselves if there actually is an atmosphere up there. Look at what we're looking at. We're looking at textures and surfaces that we've never seen before. As many people think I'm using filters, it's just an excuse. We got to cut this out. This is straight up shots. I've showed hundreds, if not thousands, and I'm not exaggerating in any way. This is an anomaly on the surface. 2016, I found it in the north side of the moon. If you look properly, there's a lighter gray sort of something leaking. Looks like it's leaking all over the structures right here at the back there on the top. What is it? It's smaller objects. And at times, they have a lot of hazel smoke around it. This Copernicus, straight lines inside of the craters. They are too straight. And you say to yourself, okay, it's just a straight line. Well, it's not just a straight line, guys. We're looking at a line that's at least, at least almost 50 kilometers long. Here's the star up on the corner of it. If you look properly, you're actually looking at a square, a platform built square. It has to be built. Things do not appear symmetrical naturally this form. We're not talking about a snowflake, okay, or um, an apple, okay? Things that are round and grow, this is not even comparable. These are the smaller structures that are uh, beside Bianchini Crater, the one that everyone loves and hates, which I love getting so much attention for this. This is the real surface of the moon. We can see that blue strip at the top there. No matter what it is, it's just incredible. We're seeing uh, an anomaly, a, a setup that we're not familiar with. We're looking for mailboxes. We're looking for buildings. Look at this. Look how close we are. I've never seen a surface structure this close. Try to find a NASA photo of Bianchini Crater that shows any area around it. Put two and two together, guys. The reason why they're not showing the surrounding craters that close, it's because they're saying the ejecta that you can't get in. It's bullshit. I can get in and I'm seeing these structures. They're natural structures. No, they're not. They're built structures. This 42 to 45 kilometer bridge east of Bianchini Crater, you could clearly see all the connections and then anomalies and objects over top of them. This was all built. Who knows when they were built? Were they built thousands of years ago? Millions of years ago? I don't think it really matters. For me, I'm just trying to show everyone that the moon is really inhabited. These objects and structures are being maintained, obviously, guys. What would happen to Earth if it was left alone? For the vegetation to grow over everything, to entirely engulf every structure in the city of New York, Manhattan, everywhere in the entire world. I guarantee you, it wouldn't take 25 years, we wouldn't be able to see a bloody piece of cement, brick, or aluminum anywhere. It would be either thrown down, entirely infested and falling apart, or covered with vegetation. If this has been there for a thousand years, and structures for the longest time we know have been always remaining the same, it has to be because possibly someone or some species or breakaway civilization is maintaining it. Maybe NASA secret projects. I don't know. We just saw a beautiful surface. This 
is all proof. Notice pixelation does not form different sized objects with different um, directional features to them. 45 degree angles, we have 90 degree angles, we have bent and turned, always straight and symmetrical, aligned perfectly to one another. On the right top here, it's a crater. It's going out to all these structures, which obviously go both in and out of the surface and along the surface. These long stretch and corridors that I'm seeing on the surface can't be anything else but a way of for whoever's up there to travel across the surface of the moon somehow. If they're inside the moon, maybe all these objects that we're seeing are entrances or like John Lear says, maybe a lot of these are objects. Why are we seeing lights? I mean, it could be companies or industrial companies up there. It's just so obvious. It's all right there in our faces. The sad part is that many think that I'm manipulating my footage and I'm not. The real thing, and this is what we're looking at. We're looking at the real thing, meaning they're objects that I don't know what they are, but they're symmetrical and they are built. There's no, ref uh, no denying it. It's irrefutable. Absolutely irrefutable. Lights on the surface that glow more, where you see the light technique here, it brings out the brightest parts, which really look like companies on the surface. This photo, the photo of absolute proof, um, I, it's all over my videos. We're looking at objects, but still the world denies it. But not you guys here. We're going to be seeing a lot. Part two coming up.